When I did my review of the Honda City RS sedan variant last year, I was blown away by how good looking that car is. Its overall design and its sporty bits truly spoke to the boy racer in me. Now, if the sedan variant of the Honda City RS could give me goosebumps, imagine what this baby can do. This is the Honda City RS hatchback version, and in this video, we get to drive it. Let's do this. Hello again guys, I'm Reagan and welcome back to another car review. If you're new to my channel, I hope you click that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. If you're my subscriber already, thank you so much for your support. I truly appreciate it. Also special thanks to the guys at Honda Cars Manila for giving us this opportunity to drive and feature the all-new Honda City RS hatchback. If you have a need for any Honda, do head on down here to Honda Cars Manila or you may contact the person in my pinned comments below. The Honda City Hatchback RS replaces the outgoing Honda Jazz or Honda Fit in the Philippine market. This Hatchback RS is also the sportier version of the City RS sedan because normally hatchbacks are more agile and nimble on the streets than their sedan counterparts. The City Hatchback RS also takes the top spot now as the top of the line Honda City in the Philippines with this version retailing at 1,115,000 Philippine pesos. Now that's 67,000 pesos more expensive than a similarly spec Honda City RS sedan version. So we'll see in this video if the Honda City RS hatchback is worth that extra money. Now the first thing that you'll notice with this front fascia of the Honda City hatchback RS is that it looks exactly identical to the City RS sedan variant's uh, front fascia. And that's actually a good decision on Honda's part because the front fascia of the Honda City RS sedan is absolutely stunning. And it also doesn't make any financial sense if they're going to come up with an entirely different front fascia just for the hatchback version. Now having said that guys, we get the same RS design black honeycomb front grille here at the lower half of the front grille. And on the top half, we have a nice glossy black finish that still reminds me of a mustache. <laughs> Now we also have the RS badge here, which again reminds me of Sailor Moon because RS stands for road sailing. Yeah, I still couldn't get over that guys. This should be rally spec, but according to Honda, it's road sailing. Now the City Hatchback RS gets the same full LED headlight array here that's similar to the Civic RS Turbo. And we also have a LED fog light here that's neatly integrated into this sporty looking side air vents which are not functional these are fake side air vents but we do have a nice carbon fiber finish for our center front diffuser heater now if you put it all together we got a truly sporty looking front fascia here which already looked good in the sedan variant but the fact that they put it in a hatchback body i mean my goodness this is absolutely gorgeous now the side profile of the City Hatchback RS is pretty similar to the sedan sibling except of course we lose a trunk. Now the City Hatchback RS gets the same RS design blacked out power folding side mirrors here with LED turn signals and we also get the same size and design wheels but we do get a different finish. Now these are 16 inch wheels and they're wrapped in 18555 R16 tires. The finish for the City Hatchback though is all in glossy black versus the two-tone diamond cut finish that can be found in the City RS sedan variant. Now if you were to ask me, I prefer these all black finish that can be found in the hatchback variant because it looks a little bit more sporty than well the RS sedan. Now behind these wheels, we get the same braking bits as the sedan variant. These are ventilated discs up front but only drum brakes at the rear end. The suspension bits are also the same. We have a MacPherson setup in the front 
and a rear torsion beam at the back. The ground clearance stands at 134 millimeters, which is pretty standard for any city hatchback. Now we go over to the part that separates the hatchback city from the sedan city, and that is the rear end. As far as rear ends go, this is positively gorgeous, guys, especially for a hatchback. Now, we've got this nicely integrated rear spoiler here that goes well with this nice carbon fiber finish rear diffuser here at the lower part of the rear bumper. Now this rear diffuser has a different design than the one that can be found in the sedan variant because that one has multiple fins but this one went with a sleeker, cleaner, more streamlined look to it. Now the tail lights of the city hatch are the same design as the ones found in the sedan variant. These are also LED tail lights but on the hatchback rear end, this is truly gorgeous guys. Now, when you pop open the manual lift gate here, you'll see one of the penalties for having such a sexy rear end for the hatchback. We only get 289 liters of cargo capacity here, which translates to only a single medium-sized luggage. But at least we still have some space on the sides for smaller items. Now, what the hatchback gives up in terms of sheer cargo space versus the sedans over 500 liters well, it more than makes up for it when it comes to versatility. You see, the city hatchback has also inherited the same ULT second row seats of the Honda Jazz slash Fit and the same ones found in the Honda HRV. That means these seats fold flat over to the floor and now that will give you an 841 liter cargo capacity. 841 liters is good enough for four medium sized luggage stacked up one on top of each other inside the car and the fifth one here in the trunk area now that is good enough for over a month's long worth of vacation the honda city hatchback rs gets the same powertrain that can be found in its sedan sibling this is a 1.5 liter turbo just kidding <laughs> got you there you wish <laughs> this ain't a turbo man this is still the same 1.5 liter naturally aspirated four banger VTEC engine that can put out 119 horses and 145 Newton meters of torque. How we could have wished that this were equipped with the same one liter turbocharged mill that's available in the Honda cities in Thailand. But well, no can do. It also still gets the same CVT transmission that's found in the city sedan RS uh, sibling. Now I'm thinking, Imagine if it were a 1-liter turbo plus a 6-speed manual transmission. Now, wow, that would be something else. Maybe Honda Philippines can make it available via indent order. I don't know. Hi, Honda Philippines. Anyway, until then, well, this is what we have. It's the same mechanical bits that can be found in the Honda City RS sedan variant. But at least we still get paddle shifters inside for those simulated gear changes. Now when you hop inside the cockpit of the Honda City Hatchback RS, you'll see that it is pretty similar to the cockpit of the sedan sibling except that there are some uh, key differences here. First up, the seats. The Hatchback RS doesn't get the same leather and suede combination seats that we found in the sedan variant. Rather, what we have here are red cloth with some nice um, suede uh, finish in the middle similar to the sedan version which makes this more like a regular racing seat you know a sports seat than the ones found in the rs sedan which has more of a luxury vibe to it because of the leather inserts this one is really more for performance driving and some people might not like it some people may like it but personally i like the seats just how they are. And the seats are also quite comfortable. These are not the old Econo seats that we would normally find in uh, Econo, you know, Econo offerings of Honda. So that's also a good thing. Now the steering wheel here is the same meaty, girthy, leathery steering wheel that we found in the sedan version. This is a leather wrapped steering wheel with a nice red contrast stitching there for that uh, added uh, Type R appeal. And we also have paddle shifters hiding behind the steering wheel. Of course, we get cruise control here and we also have hands-free buttons for connectivity. Now, if you wanna get the perfect driving position, the good thing here is the wheel also adjusts for tilting and telescoping. 
So that is a bit of good news for taller drivers than myself. Now when you look at the instrument gauge cluster here, the gauges themselves are still the same analog format and we still have the same calculator like uh, multi-information display in the middle that shows you your vital stats. But we do get the nice red accents there which increases the sporty appeal. Now one thing that I noticed with the gauges though is that the City Hatchback and the City Sedan doesn't have an engine temperature gauge. So I don't know if it's just the Tito in me, but not getting a, an engine temperature gauge here um, you know, gives me the jitters guys because well, I always want to make sure that I'm not at the point that I'm about to overheat. So, well, I don't know, maybe these uh, engine temperature gauges are so expensive nowadays that they don't want to put it in these modern cars. Anyway, we also have some nice aluminum finish um, sport pedals there at the bottom part. The sedan version also has that, but in the hatchback, yeah, I noticed that as well. Now, when you go to the infotainment system, we have the same 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system here that has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Bluetooth connectivity. Now the good thing there also, we have the image of the reverse camera coming out here. It's still not the same resolution that can be found in let's say these newer Chinese offerings, but it is serviceable and uh, decent enough. The layout here, the climate control and all is pretty similar to the sedan version. We've got a fully automatic climate control system here and a couple of uh, cup holders, which I won't subject to my clean content canteen test anymore because these cup holders are in a position where my clean canteen is too tall and it will hit the top of the well the bottom of the climate control system we have our gear shifter here with some piano gloss black finishes surrounding it and a regular handbrake which rounds up the look now the cockpit area also has the same uh, soft touch plastics We've got some nice uh, leather wrapping here in the middle dashboard. On the door cards, we have some nice red contrast stitching for that sporty appeal, guys. So yeah, the fit and finish, as expected from a Honda, the fit and finish is uh, fantastic here. So despite the, you know, the plastics that can be found in some areas of the cabin, well, this is still a very nice, a sporty, well, decent cabin for the city rs hatchback now the back seat of the city hatchback rs is pretty typical of any hatchback but as far as hatchbacks go if you are quite used to say the back seat of the honda jazz slash fit it would be pretty similar now having said that guys i'm five foot six i'm an average asian build we have here my driving position and the knee room here is nearly a foot long and that is a good amount of space i won't really feel too cramped when i'm here at the back seat of the honda city hatchback rs now the headroom here while well, i'm seated back I have around three inches of headroom, not really spectacular guys, but well, it is still a subcompact hatchback, so you should expect that the headroom will be a bit on the cramped side. Now for toys, the City Hatchback RS also has the same amount of toys that can be found in the sedan sibling. We've got a couple of rear AC vents here, a couple of 12 volt outlets. Why they didn't give us USB charging ports, I have no clue guys, but at least you could still put a USB adapter there in a 12 volt outlet and everything will be well and good. You also have here a center armrest with a couple of cup holders and the biggest advantage of the hatchback over the sedan is the fact that we have ULT seats here which increases the versatility of your vehicle. You can tumble down the seat backs, it gives you a nice flat open area here or if you need a deep and tall space you could also put the seats up like the ones found in a regular let's say double cab pickup truck and that will give you a nice large area here that is covered from the elements in case you need to transport you know stuff that uh, you know should be covered should be within a roof but anyway guys enough of the back seat let's go back to the driver's seat and take this city hatchback rs for a quick spin All right, guys, so we're now driving the Honda City Hatchback RS. And immediately, I could feel that this feels like a smaller vehicle than the sedan sibling. 
You see, the sedan gave me the feeling like I'm driving something bigger, like the Civic. But this hatchback makes me feel like I'm driving something smaller, like a Honda Jazz. It's probably the hatchback configuration of this thing, but it makes me feel like, well, this is a more nimble car and the drive reflects that. Wow, nice. I'm doing some tiny uh, steering wheel movements here and wow, turn in is quite sharp. A wee bit sharper than the sedan version. This would make a great canyon carver if ever you decide to take it out to the mountain twisties. Now given the sporty demeanor and the personality of the City Hatchback RS, you'd be happy to know and you'll have a lot of peace of mind knowing that you have a full suite of safety features here. We've got six airbags here including curtain airbags and we have uh, ABS with EBD, we've got stability control and we also have hill start assist. So for a budget subcompact hatchback, well that uh, safety suite is pretty decent guys. You know what guys, I am really loving this. I love that the City Hatchback RS ha has that a small car feel to it. I mean, it is a small car, it's still a subcompact hatchback, but the fact that it feels its size, it feels like its size, means that it's easier to drive around in tight Manila roads like what we have here. The turn-in is also fantastic. I love the steering response. It feels very sharp, in fact, it really feels a tad sharper than the one found in the sedan version. Now, despite the small size of the City Hatchback RS, it doesn't really feel uh, low rent here. It doesn't feel like a budget meal. I still feel like I'm uh, cocooned inside a cabin that has some nice premium materials, despite uh, the abundance of plastic. But I love that Honda really just uh, furnished this thing with a lot of soft touch materials in the areas where I am touching the most. I mean, my elbows, my hands, my butt, everything feels premium. That's what I like about the City Hatchback. It's a small car, but it doesn't feel like it's a cheap car. All right, so we're now in manual mode and I'm in sport. Let's see how this thing accelerates. All right, loving that engine sound. I mean, it's not a turbocharged engine, but I love that uh, in sport mode, it holds the revs up. And uh, surprisingly guys, this thing feels faster than the RS sedan, the City RS sedan, wow. <laughs> no, that's crazy. That is something that I didn't expect, that this thing would actually be faster or feel faster. Let's go. Awesome, oh my goodness, wow. You see, when I test drove the City RS sedan variant, I was kind of over, well, underwhelmed with the performance of the car because it had all the nice uh, sport exterior and interior bits, but unfortunately, it didn't really translate to a sporty drive. I couldn't say the same for the City hatchback. I mean, this has the same engine, the same transmission, still a CVT. Yet when you put it in sport mode and you use the paddle shifters, it feels like I'm shifting with the regular automatic. It's crazy. All right, we're in a stoplight again. We are here on a straight. We're on manual mode sport. Let's go, let's try it. So initial acceleration, not there. But I love that, wow, this thing holds the revs all the way up to the red line. Yeah, and can deliver the goods <laughs> as well as any budget subcompact hatch can do. Man, that was crazy. <laughs> I love it. The City Hatchback has a sportier demeanor than the sedan sibling. And for me, that already justifies the additional 67,000 pesos that you pay for this hatchback RS, the city hatchback RS. If you're somebody who loves to drive, you're somebody who 
takes their cars out just for a leisurely stroll or going for a breakfast run up in the mountains. Yeah. The Honda City Hatchback RS is just the ticket for you guys. This is really sporty. Nice. I mean, it doesn't give you the same brutal acceleration you'd expect from cars with twice or three times the horsepower. But man, this thing can go. It can go. The Honda City Hatchback RS has exactly the same features, toys, and mechanical bits as the sedan version. So you'd wonder why Honda Philippines charge an additional premium for this hatchback variant. Well, what the spec sheet won't tell you is the way that these two cars drive. The City Hatchback RS has a sportier, nimbler drive, a sharper turn in response, all mainly because of the way they chopped that trunk at the back. You could even go as far as saying that the sporty exterior and interior styling bits closely matches the performance of the City Hatchback RS more than its sedan sibling. And if you're a hardcore hatchback fan out there, well, the Honda City Hatchback RS is exactly what the doctor ordered. And until you get your prescription, guys, well, until then, thanks for watching.